<coughs> Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a S4 object um, in R. It's, these objects are quite efficient as they have object-oriented programming. So I'm going to start by saying uh, or using um, a Harry Potter example. So that's my variable name, Gryffindor and I am going to use the function set class and I'm going to call the class as Gryffindor also they have to match up um, then I'm going to give a representation and which is a list uh, let's say we create a variable name names within the list names are characters so I'm going to define the type as character then uh, gender is also character so put it as character lastly we have uh, let's say age which is not a character variable it's rather numeric so I'm going to call it as numeric now my class is created if you try to access a slot from Gryffindor say names you can access it using the at sign Gryffindor at names now you'd get an error because you are trying to access a class you can't access a class so you have to create an object to access this class Gryffindor so let's say Gryffindor dot object as Gryffindor soft class Gryffindor so I'm going to say Gryffindor and I'll say names equals uh, let's say I have perhaps uh, Harry first then Ron then Hermione and uh, gender is also a list I have male and male followed by female and lastly I have age. I think they're of the same age, but I'm not sure, so I'm just going to make something up. 12, 10, 11. Now that is an object of class Gryffindor. Now if you access the object, oh, something went wrong. But that's okay. Um, that was weird. Um, if you access the object, again uh, names you will get Harry, Ron and Hermione at gender you will get male female male male female and age you should get 12, 10 and 11 now Gryffindor is within Hogwarts so what I can do is create another class I'll say Hogwarts I'll say set class Hogwarts again and slots this time I'll call uh, the names of teachers teacher names which is a character so I'm going to put it as a character and since Gryffindor is within Hogwarts I could say contains Gryffindor um, because you've got to put it within quotes or else you'd get an error. Now Hogwarts becomes a superclass um, because Hogwarts contains Gryffindor. Again you can't access Hogwarts directly you have to access Hogwarts through an object. So I'm going to create an object and it's of type Hogwarts so Hogwarts and this time it is teacher names and I'll use Dumbledore Snape uh, I, should, I think that should be enough um, and I'm going to hit enter now if you access Hogwarts.object apparently it looks like some sort of problem here um, you can see that you have 
the Hogwarts object having teacher's names but the other slots are empty but the moment you created an object uh, of type Hogwarts you automatically created um, an object of Gryffindor within uh, Hogwarts so what I can do is I could also say Hogwarts dot object um, again it's a problem with our studio I believe um, I could say Hogwarts um, this time I'm going to say names equals uh, A B and C when I do this you will automatically see that uh, Hogwarts dot object will contain names so this time teacher names is gone but you're accessing names so if I wanted all four I'd have to fill in for teacher names names gender and age so the Gryffindor object is within the Hogwarts object um, sorry about the trouble uh, in the middle apparently it's an R Studio problem but uh, this is how you use S for objects if you want to get information about the slots you could use the get slots function specify Hogwarts and it'll tell you the slots contained within Hogwarts likewise you could get the slots within Gryffindor and that is names, gender and age and those are S for objects in R uh, thank you for watching